Okay, welcome everybody. This is Randy, and today I'm going to do something a little different from my normal marketing or MMA type podcasts. We're going to talk about what's been in the news, what's been all over social media, and that is the the violence and the disgusting terrorist act in Orlando. Uh, and if you've lived under a rock, basically we had a radical Muslim nut job go into a nightclub kill 50 people and wound a couple dozen others before he was killed by the police and uh it's what everybody's talking about um but unfortunately it seems most people are focusing on the wrong issue and that that's that makes me sad it disturbs me it annoys me and I, so i want to talk about that um you know this guy i'm not gonna say his name he's a piece of shit uh, you know, he wanted to hurt people. He was dead set on hurting people for whatever reason. You know, there's reports that, you know, maybe he was struggling with his sexuality. He was on some gay, you know, uh, dating apps. And, you know, he had talked about, you know, to his coworkers hating homosexuals and hating gays. And, you know, a lot of stuff's coming out. So whatever reason he had, it's obviously a hate crime. It's obviously a terrorist act. It's obviously disgusting. You know, if there is a hell, I hope that guy's burning in it. Um, sounds like they're going to be arresting his wife and maybe some, you know, other radicals that, that he dealt with. Um, a lot of people are angry that the FBI had him on a watch list, uh, but took him off the watch list. list. Um, he was allowed to buy guns legally. A lot of people are angry about that, um, but but more than anything, people seem to be focusing on the gun issue and saying, you know, this is all because of guns, you know, and and that's that's a kind of an ignorant statement because basically they're saying if if guns weren't around, this guy would have been normal, he wouldn't have hurt people, and you know, all would be well. But I think we all know whether or not this guy could get a hold of guns legally or illegally, he was bound to determine to hurt people. And I think that's what we need to be focusing on. Um, you know, people manage terrorist attacks all the time without guns. Um, and the other issue, you know, the whole FBI thing and watch list thing, a lot of people are angry about that, but they shouldn't be. If he hasn't committed a crime, they can't really treat him like a criminal, can they? You know, in this country, we cannot get to the point where your thoughts, your ideology is a criminal offense unless you act on you know things like that thought crimes are not something we can you know enforce and something we should enforce um, but the whole gun thing is just it's just mind-boggling to me because it keeps us from focusing on the real issue which is you know radical Muslims that are bound to determine to be terrorists to be martyrs and people with mental health issues we're not focusing on that, but instead, again, we're focusing on guns. And again, most people I hear talking, you know, guns are the issue, guns are the problem, we have to ban guns, we have to change the laws, really don't even know what they're talking about most of the time. And I say that because I deal with a lot of smart people, I have a lot of smart friends, and they say some really dumb shit to me. Um, and I'll give you an example, you, and, and I'm sure you've seen it too, of people saying, we have to get rid of assault weapons in this country, they should not be allowed to be sold. Well, here's a little fact for you. Assault weapons are not legally sold in America. Machine guns are not legally sold in America. And now I'll, I'll put the caveat in there because I'm not 100% educated on the whole gun show loophole thing. But from my understanding, you still cannot sell machine guns, automatic rifles at gun shows. But you can bypass some, some checks and balances there as far as background checks and things like that. And I'll 100% agree that shit needs stopped. There should be none of that. If you buy a gun legally, you should have the background check, all that good stuff. So, setting that aside, though, <clears throat> a lot of people seem to think this guy used an assault rifle. And if you read the news closely, you'll see on most websites and most news organizations put in parentheses, assault style weapon. Because it looked like an M14 or an M16 machine gun, but it was not. It was a semi-automatic AR-15. And all that means is, basically, you pull the trigger, one bullet comes out. You pull it again, another bullet comes out. That is the difference between a legit assault rifle and a semi-automatic assault-style rifle. An automatic weapon, you pull the trigger, 
bullets will come out until you're out of bullets. That's an assault weapon. That's a machine gun. That is not sold legally in America. That is not what this guy had. He had a semi-automatic weapon that looks like an automatic weapon, but does not function like one. So we understand the distinction there because a lot of people don't seem to understand that. They seem to think this guy went in there with the machine gun and just sprayed bullets, and and that's just simply not true. And that doesn't diminish, you know, anything that happened. Um, but we're just talking facts. You know, this guy didn't have a machine gun. Those aren't legally sold. Uh, the gun he had was very similar to any, you know, shotgun, any rifle you can buy anywhere in the world for hunting. You know, it's semi-automatic, meaning you pull the trigger, one bullet comes out. You want another bullet, you have to pull that trigger again. And I say this, and I harp on this so much, because I had really smart people tell me that the gun he used will shoot 700 rounds per minute, and that is just simply not true. In order for that to happen, he would have to pull that trigger 700 times within one minute. He would also have to load and reload that thing dozens of times because, you know, last year they passed laws limiting the size of magazines you can use on rifles. And I think it was, you know, 15 or less is acceptable, something of that nature. So whatever the number is, let's just say it's 20. And I'm almost positive it's it's smaller than that. But you would have to reload, you know, 20 into 700. Whatever that turns out to be, that's how many times you would have to reload that within a minute to shoot 700 bullets. So, again, before you spout nonsense like that on social media, you need to understand how guns work and the facts of them. Because, you know, everybody's saying, you know, I used an assault weapon. It's got to be banned. And they already are. But, again, that's focusing on the wrong issue. Uh, you know, the Boston Bombers did not use guns, but they still managed to hurt and kill a lot of people. The San Bernardino people, they used guns, sure. Um, but again, guns are not the root cause here. You know, they're tools being used by some of these terrorists and, you know, these, these hate crime type people. But, you know, I, I think that's focusing on the wrong issue. You know, uh, can you honestly tell me, and I ask this of everybody, and this is an honest question, that if there was no guns, this scumbag in Orlando would have just been a normal dude and not committed some kind of terrorist act or hate crime? Do you really think limited access to a gun or no access to a gun would have stopped this guy? And that's a serious question, because it didn't stop the guys in Boston. It didn't stop the Boston bombers. France has very strict gun laws, especially compared to the United States. But we all know what happened last year. You know, hundreds of people injured. I think over 100 people murdered. And again, their gun laws are a lot stricter than ours. But where there's a will, there's a way. But criminals aren't going to follow whatever new gun laws we put in place. Killers are going to kill people if they're determined enough. Whether it's with bombs, with guns, with knives vehicles with planes you name it and, and i wish there was a easy solution i wish that if we took all the guns out of the world that that would make everybody safe but that's simply not the case if you take all the guns away from people like me you're basically leaving me defenseless i live in the mountains of the ozarks 20 minutes from the nearest town um we had a small fire out here several years ago, and we called the, the fire department. It was an hour before they showed up. Uh, so, you know, who's, you know, it's easy to say you don't need protecting the police and yada, 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 but when you live in the mountains, it's a little different. But I've never had to pull a gun, never felt threatened out here. Uh, and if you take guns away from guys like me and, and people that obey laws and don't have criminal records or mental illness, then who's left with guns? You know, people that aren't following the laws. Um, so, I mean, again, I wish it was so simple we could just say guns are the problem. But, again, can you tell me this guy in Orlando wouldn't have committed some horrible crime just because he couldn't get a hold of a gun? I don't think he went and bought the gun and said, well, I've got to think of something to do with this gun now that I've got it. I guess I'll go shoot a nightclub. No, he he already planned on shooting that nightclub. He just was looking for an easy tool. Same thing with San Bernardino. Same, same with the Boston Bombers. Same thing with the assholes in Paris that killed so many people. 
right? and guns are just a tool they're using and they'll find another one if we take that away from them so I think we need to be looking at the actual issue and not focusing so much on guns am I right and I'm willing to hear your arguments your comments tell me where I'm wrong tell me a solution you know what am I missing here do we really think these guys without guns wouldn't do anything horrible because I don't believe that but I'm willing to listen if you tell me that that the guns is really what's causing these radical Muslims and these ass clowns at like Sandy Hook that that guy killing all those kids you know if you really think it's all because they had access to guns then convince me I'm, I'm willing to listen I don't see how that's even possible but I'm willing to listen because I my heart aches for these people that that are involved in these tragedies and their families I don't know what I would do if something happened to my children or my wife or someone in my family. I know I'd be angry and I'd be wanting to blame somebody and I would want something done. No matter what, I would want something done. But I think we need to look at a real solution that might have meaningful impact and I don't know what that is right now. This guy didn't have a criminal record. He wasn't on a watch list, but he didn't commit a crime. You know, it sounds like he may have had some mental health issues, but, you know, it's hard to say. And I'm sure we'll learn more as it goes on. Um, but, you know, San Bernardino and this guy in Orlando obviously had some kind of radical ties. You know, they're saying they were radicalized online, possibly. And But what do you do with that? And, you know, that's not the only one. You know, this, this the Sandy Hook guy that went nuts and killed all those innocent kids. You know, he obviously had some mental disabilities, but, you know, what do you do? He went and stole his parents' guns and, and committed that horrific act. But again, do you think he wouldn't have done something crazy just because he couldn't get a hold of a gun? You know, the Boston bomber guys just built bombs. You know, strict gun laws in Paris didn't stop those people. So I ask you again, why do we think guns is the real issue here? And I, why aren't we looking for a better solution? You know, I, I do think we need, you know, to close any loopholes on people not, you know, getting a background check and being checked out buying a gun. Uh, I do agree that machine guns and stuff should never be legal for regular citizens. There's no need for that. But I also think people need to be more educated on what assault rifles and what non-assault rifles are because that's obviously a big divide in this country and well around the world you know because my friends in canada seem to think you know you could shoot 700 rounds a minute at a semi-automatic rifle which is just ridiculous but uh, again i ask everybody what do you think could help you know uh what do you think the real problem is and, and give me a solution you know, and it convinced me that guns are the real problem here because I can rattle off statistics all day long that says alcohol is a bigger issue, that, you know, people in vehicles, drunk driving, or just road, uh, road raging are a bigger issue. You know, there's a lot more issues that we seem to be ignoring that have a lot, you know, more damage, more death tolls, more accidents, more, you know, whatever than, than gun related things do. But we're focusing on guns, and I think we're ignoring the real issues. And, and I'm willing to be wrong, folks. But I want to hear it from you guys. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment. Reply in a video. Do whatever you need. Call me an asshole. Tell me how I'm wrong. Uh, I'm willing to listen, but I thought this would be a good way to, to start a conversation because I'm willing to listen. But but don't come at me with 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 erroneous facts. You know, don't come at me with this was the largest, you know, mass killing in American history because that's easily provable wrong. And I've heard that said a lot. You know, that 50 people, as tragic as that is, is not the the, the worst mass killing in America. Uh, you know, it might be the worst in a decade or so, but I can take you back 100 years ago and point out several bigger issues. But, but again, that's not the point. That's that's just a distraction from the point. What I'm saying is don't don't come at me with bullshit and statistics you read on the Huffington Post, you read a headline or something like that. You know, if you come at me with something, then make sure it's a fact. And I'm willing to listen. So again, I thank everybody for listening. I want to hear what you have to say. 
Uh, again, my heart goes out to everybody in Orlando. I hope we can come to a solution soon. But we've all got to quit arguing about, you know, semantics and, you know, assault rifles and, you know, shit like that. We've got to have a real conversation. So let's let's see if we can start that. Thanks, guys. Stay safe.